Gas prices, diesel prices, we've been talking about them for some time. Already at 10 year highs and with the Ukrainian conflict likely to drive them higher, local businesses and nonprofits are feeling the pinch of high fuel costs. So Ethan, you discovered that firsthand today by they talking. Are, they are really hurting and now they're trying to adjust. But Eva, you really can't compensate for such a big financial hit. As gas prices soar, Second Harvest Food Bank is running out of fuel money and fast. It's burned through its budget with five months left in the fiscal year. We have already exhausted our year's worth of uh, fuel in our budget. We budgeted for $45,000. That is now gone. The food bank is hit especially hard because it pays fuel both to ship food to its warehouse and to ship it out to food pantries in 11 nearby counties. The increases are staggering and they plan to go up. So at this point, you know, we're going to have to make decisions on, on what we do when it comes to sending our drivers out, taking care of the diesel product that needs to get all this food out, and we certainly will find a way. Officials say they'll have to either order less food for people in need or find a way to raise even more money. But it's not just nonprofits taking a beating. Gerlach's power equipment plows snow all over the area, and using heavy equipment like this uses a lot of diesel fuel. When most of the snow has come in the last month and a half, uh, that uh, came right at the right time. The fuel prices were going up all the time, so that does make it difficult. The company signs contracts before winter starts using fuel prices at the time. But diesel is up 30 cents a gallon in just the last month, and there's nothing Gerlachs can do but absorb the extra cost. With the big storms that we have been getting with the snow, it takes a lot more fuel to run them to push that heavier wet snow rather than a lighter small amount of snow. Fuel prices creating a crisis for businesses and nonprofits alike with no end in sight. And Eva, there was just no way to budget for this. You know, the food bank couldn't possibly have predicted a year ago that mm -hmm. gas prices and diesel prices were going to go up like that. Even Gerlach's just setting prices three or four months ago. The prices of diesel and gas have just soared, and all of a sudden, Gerlach's is seeing its profit margins trim, and the food bank, between food and diesel prices, is really taking a hit. Such a hardship in so many different ways. And not going to let up anytime soon. Nope. That's maybe the scariest part.